It's hard to imagine Donald Trump could come up with something more outrageous to say, and then he did. Trump has called for all Muslims to be banned from entering the United States. It's been condemned around the world. As Arthi Pohl reports, this time Trump may have gone too far, even for his own party. He says he doesn't care about being politically correct. No kidding. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Perhaps the most outrageous of all the over-the-top comments Trump has made. The South Carolina crowd at his rally eating it right up. But political rivals are not impressed, calling Trump unhinged, prejudice and divisive. His proposal ridiculous, offensive and outlandish. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. And you know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. In the race to become president, controversial comments have become the Trump campaign's ammunition. And often outlandish remarks only push him higher in the polls. If you're going to stay in the news by saying outrageous things, the outrageousness has to keep expanding. After the mass shooting in San Bernardino, California, where the shooters were identified as radicalized Muslims, Trump is tapping into fears that it could happen again with a proposal that would violate the U.S. Constitution. What Donald Trump said yesterday disqualifies him from serving as president. But not far from the nation's capital, a sense Trump may be on track with his supporters. Who's cutting off people's heads? Who's bombing buildings? Who's bombing airplanes? It's not the Christians. It's not the Jewish. It's not the Buddhists. It's the Muslims. You got that on camera, sport? The Muslim community in America is outraged. This rhetoric echoes the policies enacted by Nazi Germany against the Jews. Have we learned anything from history, Mr. Trump? On the front page of the Philadelphia Daily News, the Republican candidate compared to Hitler. There are campaigns in Vancouver and Toronto to remove Trump's name from city towers. Even the Prime Minister weighed in. Canadians know exactly where I stand on those issues. I uh, talked about it repeatedly through the election campaign, and Canadians soundly rejected uh, the politics of fear and division. His comments are far-reaching, but it appears there's still no limit on how far Trump will go in his bid for the White House. Arthi Pohl, Global News, Washington.